basically, in a situation where you're expecting guests, now you have to think about how your home is laid out, how your door opens and things like that, in order to be able to configure it in a, in a logical way for both you and how to handle the dog safely. You know, and this guy, there's nothing harmful about this dog. He's just a big dog. Um, but by the same token, nobody wants 70 pounds of dog going, hey, how you doing either? So, yeah. So what you want to do is there's a couple of scenarios that you can use um, in order to answer the door safely without your dog being underfoot and, you know, accosting your guests inappropriately. Obviously, the first one, leash and collar greeting. You walk up to the door, heel. Out. Sit. Stay. We're going to pretend this was, you know, it is good, but we're going to pretend there's someone behind it. So now, if you've noticed, because the door swings away from me, I have positioned myself between the dog and the door. So that way, if he goes to bolt, I can stop it. Out. Leave it. See how that works? Now, I don't have my arms all the way up here. I'm just positioned. Stay. Someone knocks, and he's all, ha, oh. ha, ha. Okay, nothing happens until the door, you know, until you open the door, and they, or until he's gone. And essentially the same thing, I know your, your niggas are getting both, I apologize. Quiet, you open the door, you greet your guest, hey, how you doing? Hold on just a second, I'm trying to control my dog. 99.9% .9 of all people will understand that. Then you get the buffoons who are like, oh, it's okay, all dogs love me. Well, my 90 year old grandmother, not so much. And dogs don't discriminate that well. All right. So then your person is there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to control the dog and control their meeting before anything. At this point in time, you determine whether or not your dog is allowed to greet your guest. Leave it. You slide in beside them. Stay. You have a treat nearby or something where the person can hand, you know, hand the dog a treat, but only if he's calm. So the expectation to come guests are great, but I only get rewarded if I'm calm. So if he doesn't act like an idiot, he gets rewarded. Hey, bud. Gunther. Gunther. Do big, do big, go. Hello. Good. And then we heal away. Heal. The guest comes in. I'm walking to my destination, which has a dog bed. Count. Down. No. Down. Stay. And now we go about our business. All right, second scenario, you're in a family room or wherever the dog's already on his bed. Door rings, he jumps up, you go and get the dog, you bring him back, you put him back, you go and answer the door. Okay, the third way is you're in the kitchen or wherever, whatever is furthest from the door, the dog is obviously with you, tell him to stay, you go to answer the door. Now obviously, it requires practice, okay? It's a timing event. So if you know that you're expecting guests at a certain time, coordinate what you're going to do before they arrive. Practice that. It takes five minutes. Because there's two of you, you can practice this daily until he finally realizes, oh, doorbell, gone, and stays on his bed on his own. Or retreats to his bed on his own. Which is ultimately what the goal is. That's what you want. And then you can release him from there. And that's the important thing. Okay. That's the